Topic 4, Lesson 2, Estimating Sums and Differences of Whole Numbers. Well, so far you know how to round numbers. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to use rounding to estimate sums and differences. So our standard is fluently add and subtract multi-digit whole numbers using standard algorithms. And we're going to be using mathematical practices. We have make sense of the problems and persevere in solving them, reason abstractly and quantitatively, construct viable arguments, and critique the reasoning of others, and look for a use of structure and make use of structure, and finally look for and express regularity in repeated reasoning. So these are the ones we're going to be using mostly. So let's take a look at our focus. How can you estimate sums or and differences of whole numbers. Now sums, that's what we're talking about adding. Differences, we're talking about subtracting. And to estimate, a lot of times you might look at that as rounding. So let's take a look at our first example here. Vera went on a three-day trip and she traveled 336 miles the first day, 423 miles the second day, and 357 miles the third day. So let's go ahead and estimate each of these and find out what would be the best way to estimate them. Are we going to round up to 300 or 400 because all these numbers, well this number 336 is between 300 and 400, 423 is between 400 and 500, and 357 is between 300 and 400. So if we're going to round to the nearest hundreds place, let's take a look at each one of these. So for example, if we're going to round to the hundreds place, we can look at the tens place, and we have a 3. So since we have a 3 here, we're going to round down. And so this becomes 300. For day 2, we're rounding to the hundreds place, we're going to look at over here the tens place, and it's a 2. And the 2 means we're going to again round down. So we're going to go to 400. And then finally on the third day, for rounding to the hundreds place, look at the tens place, and we have a 5. The 5 means we're going to actually round up. So we're going to round up to 400. So we have 300, 400, and 400 again. And that's how you would round off and get our estimate for each of these numbers. Let's try this one. Estimate 518 plus 271 by rounding to the nearest hundred. Go ahead and pause the video, try it, and come back. Good luck. Alright, how did you do? So again, we're going to estimate, we're going to round 518 plus 271 by rounding to the nearest hundreds. So we can take 518 and 271, and again we're going to be adding them. So let's take a look. We've got 5, we're rounding to the nearest hundreds place, 5, and we look over at the 1, so we're going to round down. That becomes 500. Looking at 271, rounding to the hundreds place, look at the 7. That means we're going to round up to 300. So if we add it up, we're going to get 800. Is that what you got? Good. Now try some on your own. Good luck. 